Hey, hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am just gonna do a little vlog for you guys. Hitting the road, it is 90 degrees out here in Jersey, and I'm not staying in this house. It is too nice, too beautiful, and I'm going out. Like, sometimes you wanna go out and you wanna feel good and you wanna dress up, and that's exactly what I'm doing today. Even if it's to go to Home Depot, I'm happy with doing that. So far, I'm just doing my makeup. I filled my eyebrows in with my Revlon Color Stay in dark brown, and I'm just gonna do a quick makeup routine for you guys. I'm crazy I'm gonna show you what I do and guys if you want a detailed tutorial on exactly what I'm using and how I'm using it let me know but right now I'm just gonna do my makeup this is my MAC Pro Conceal color palette guys this thing is all beat up I've had it for years and I love it so I just use the color down here that was there for my eyebrows to clean them up Um, Maybelline and coconut matte and poreless and guys if I was dressing up or really going out somewhere I would actually conceal the dark marks around my chin I think it was just like moles but I would usually conceal those but not really doing anything today not that serious I think it's the Boss palette. Guys, I am not good with eyeshadow at all, so I'm just kind of like doing whatever. I gotta tell you, honestly, my favorite palette is the Jackie I Know one. So this is the palette I've been using. I was trying to branch out and use other eyeshadows, but I think the color payoff for this one is just so much nicer. And now for my concealer. And right now I am using my Morphe concealer in C4.45. Beauty blender and I'll use my Studio Fix spray just a little bit and just blend it out. Now for contour, the darker I feel like, the darker you use, the more snatched you are. I love it, it's just such a rich color. And I use it to contour like my nose, my cheekbones. Now I'm using my color, and I kind of mix this with the, um, the darker one. my old school cover girl clean collection and q120 this is so old i've had this for years and i still love it a little bit on the nose i'll use a little bit of blush this is the morphe brush trio Just a little bit i used to use this one and this one use this and last are the eyelashes my favorite part i love eyelashes so right now guys, there's a sale on eyelashes from KISS. These are buy one get one half off at Walgreens. So if you wanna go get a sale right now, buy one get one half off. I think I bought like five of these things, six of these things. And I got the Tule, T-U-L-L-E. It was like $5.49 I think or something like that. And I use usually my eyelashes a few times. And I use my KISS glue. I told you guys about this in my Amazon haul. Um, I'll link everything down below, but I love this eyelash glue. It really helps putting on my eyelashes because I suck at it. I'm using my Morphe setting spray. Stuff smells so good. Okay guys, so we are set. Makeup is done. Time to get dressed, figure out what I'm wearing today, and enjoy this weather because it is so beautiful outside. I am not letting today go to waste. Um, I just have some running around a few errands. I want to go to the fish market because I'm craving like fried fish or porgies or something like that. So I'm gonna go head out, do some running around, and let's get dressed. Okay guys, so I'm not even gonna play around with you guys. The getting dressed part can take me anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half because 
with as much clothes as I have in that closet, I still feel like I need to buy more things, do more shopping. So um, while I get dressed, I am gonna put you onto some game really quick. This bonnet right here, I love. And I just need something to cover my hair, especially when I'm getting dressed and putting shirts on, it messes up my curls and stuff. So what I'll usually do is do my makeup and then put my bonnet back on after my hair is done. So um, I've been loving this bonnet. I've had it for about a month now and I love this thing. It's silk on the inside. It is reversible. I love that about it. And it has this drawstring so it stays on during the night and when I'm not wearing it or anything like that, what I usually do is I'll put all my flexi rods and stuff in it so that when I'm flexi riding my hair at night, I could just put all my curlers in it, my rollers in it and just hang it up like right here, like a little drawstring. I love this thing, it goes everywhere with me. I've been using it nonstop since I got it. I put all my other scarves away because um, this thing stays on all night. It covers my whole head, it keeps my curls popping and it's silk, it's good on my edges and for my hair. So I'm gonna link this down. This was sent to me by a young lady in um, New Jersey. Um, she has a line of these things and I just love everything about them. I actually got two of them. She gave me one and I purchased one. So I'll link all her info down in the description bar so you guys can check it out. Yeah, I'm about to roll up my hair so that when I'm searching for outfits right now, my curls are not messing up. So my face is done. Once I finish putting on 20 different shirts to figure out what I'm wearing today, my curls are still intact. All right, now let's go to war in that closet. Okay guys, so I am finally dressed. I am just rocking jeans and a shirt. <laughs> I'm just staying in my closet for like 10 minutes searching for something to wear. This is all I came up with, but it's nice out. I'm good. I'm just gonna straighten up my room because there's a lot going on here, guys. So give me a minute, let's clean this up. Um, I don't really have much to do. I need to go to the post office, the bank, and I need to, um, I wanna go to the fish market. I wanna make um, this Cajun shrimp something tonight, this pasta. So that is exactly what I'm gonna make. I need a fish market and I wanna get porgies. Like I'm really craving like fried fish or grilled fish, something steamed fish, I don't care. So I'm gonna go to the fish market my friend told me about, see what kind of fish they have and it's like 90 degrees outside and my face is gonna melt off and I have to film one video so I'm not staying out long maybe like an hour and then coming right back and getting back to work all right so let's go Okay guys, so I figured we'd do a quick grocery haul before we get cooking. I got some thyme and some oregano. I got some scallions, some green onions. Okay, so I love, love, love grits and sardines. It's really good. I'm gonna make it for you guys one day. My grits are really good and buttery. Of course, my Goya seasoning goes in all my vegetables. Some ground ginger. I got some Goya pinto beans. I love this on like rice and beans or when I'm doing pork chops, but like a Spanish flair, so I got that. I got some sweet white potatoes. They're called batata in the store. I love this with like stew food. So like I would make this with my fried fish or stew chicken. I would put the batata in it as well. Okra, of course. I grabbed some scissors because, guys, I walked around the whole day with a tag still on my shirt. So yeah, I needed some scissors. Um, I got some whiting from the fish market just so I can like maybe fry it up with like french fries or something like that, like a fish and chip kind of thing. Um, I got some shrimp for tonight's dinner and I grabbed some corgis that were cleaned and yeah. But they have everything there, guys. Um, in Barbados, we make this thing called fish cake. Okay, I got some white plantains. So I love plantains even for breakfast, lunch, dinner. I got some cabbage, because I think I'm gonna do like a steamed fish kind of thing. That's what I'm craving, like steamed fish and cabbage, because honestly guys, I've been eating and eating nonstop. I need to slow it down. I got some lemons to clean my fish. Um, I got some spaghetti for tonight's pasta, red peppers. Cucumbers. I got some sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes. I got some tomatoes. Some Mrs. Dash tomato, basil, and garlic. I love buying seasoning every time I go out. And some more okra. I got some sweet Italian chicken and some kibbasky smoked sausage. So I got some French bread and Pillsbury ones and some grand biscuits. 
I got some more seasoning, uh, smoked cedar salmon, and this is black and Cajun, and some basil, some red pepper flakes, just to add a little spice to anything you're making. Okay, I got some ranch dressing dip, some tomato paste, some pink beans for like when I make chili. I think you guys saw I got these um, Maggie fish seasoning, and I got some Goya cornmeal. I love this when I'm making porridge in the morning time. Grab some half and half, and just some canola oil. Um, I'm gonna leave out the stuff that I'm gonna make tonight. This fish I'm gonna put in like a Ziploc bag so it's not spilling fish juice all over my freezer. And yeah, let's get to the cleaning. Yeah, so Sophia and I are making a pasta with sausage and shrimp, Cajun seasoning, so let me show you. Okay, so here I have my onions, my oregano, my crushed red peppers, garlic red peppers. These are the sausage that I just bought. The shrimp are here, tail still on. Um, I usually get the raw shrimp because when I buy them cooked, it comes out like rubbery, so I hate that. Um, I have my Cajun seasoning that we just purchased onion powder, the seasoning, the Goya seasoning, Larry's garlic, and Mrs. Dash. All of this is going into my shrimp and sausage pasta. I'm hoping it tastes good. I found the recipe on Pinterest, so I'll try to link it down below. If you guys want to see it, just hit me up in the comment section and say, you know what, Tanya, I want the recipe, and I will be happy to give it to you. So let's get going. Let's get this started and plated up so we can eat really quick because this is gonna be a quick meal, guys. I was looking for a 30 minute meal and that's exactly what this is about to be. Okay, guys, so the sausage are already cooked and the shrimp take like two minutes to cook, so I'm about to start the pasta. Get it in the pan and just start boiling the water. I always um, put salt in the water and like a little bit of oil so it doesn't stick together. So let's get that going. Okay guys, so as for my pasta, I'm using fettuccine, um, so it's like a little bit thicker, and guys, am I the only one that likes something sweet with their meal? Like, I cannot just eat a meal without like the different flavors. Like, I need something sweet, I need salty, I need savory, all in one plate. So I'm just making corn on the side of it just to add like a little bit of sweetness to my meal. So I'm putting on my corn, and this is the super sweet White and yellow, love this. And my fettuccine is going in right now. and some Cajun seasoning into it. And this is what it's looking like. It looks so good. My corn is still boiling. And this is still boiling. It has about maybe two more minutes until it's done. And then I'm gonna put my pasta into my pan. I'm also putting on some sausage, my shrimp. Everything looks really good. And mixed it all together. And my corn is here. So I'm gonna put this on a plate and dinner is served. This is what it's looking like. I cannot wait to eat. Oh my gosh, it only took 30 minutes and some wine and I am good to go, I'm good for the night. So as always guys, thank you, thank you so much for watching and you guys will see me next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.